Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's topic, we are going to discuss uh, one of the important tasks that is being assigned some time to the system administrator. And sometimes it sounds like quite, you know, some sort of this difficult task if, if you are new to this field. Uh, that is for changing uh, your domain name actually. So once you register your domain, even in your local uh, area network, now, okay, in order to perform your day-to-day -day activity as a system administrator, so changing a domain name is not easy task actually. So in order to do this, we'll have to go through the so many steps, so many graphically, so many, you know, uh, the CUI interfaces there through the PowerShell. So in short, changing a domain name is not a work of one step. So there will be so many restarts, so many commands has to be hit over here in order to change your domain controller name. Now, they might raise one question, why after setting a domain, uh, you're supposed to change your domain name. Sometimes it happens that two companies, they might have merged. So that's why they might have come up with a new domain name, new idea, or sometimes they might wish to change their domain name due to some other unavoidable circumstances. So the reason might be anything, but the work that is to be done by is you, that as a system administrator or the system engineer. So that's why I'm going to make one video over here in order to make your or change your domain controller's name. So let's go to our domain. This is my server 2022. Okay, now here, if I go to my domain controller, the rest of the information that I, I'd like to show you first before we proceed further. If I go to the users and computers, so it's gonna show you in detail out here, the information regarding your domain. So see, it is my domain name. Domain name is vitech.com, okay? It's okay, there is no issue. Now, if I go to my group policy, obviously uh, there will be default group policy. Everybody knows that, though I have not created any of the group policies over here, but we know that there are certain group policies. That means two group policies, okay? Default domain controllers policy and domain policy. See, these two policies are as it is here. And the name of my domain is viatech.com. Now, in order to change your domain controller's name, the first task that you need to do is to create a primary zone. So, for doing that, here we go the steps first go to the dns it's not that much difficult but so many steps are there that you need to be careful okay if anything is left out you might come across certain situation that your domain might not work properly so that's why i suggest you to take a backup uh, if you are in a lab environment so that if anything goes wrong you can restore that but this video i'm going to show you the step by step there is no error but still as a precaution i would like to give you the free solution that you make a copy of it so first we are going to create one zone okay that means the primary zone now let's go to this primary zone i'm going to create to all dns server of course it's the same thing i'm going to select this one now give the name of your new zone name so let's say testing.com so this is your new domain name actually okay so next so let's go for allow secure and non-secure both because see we are working in a lamb environment but if you are working in a real world scenario i suggest you to go for this so after that it's simple it's done but don't forget we are going to create active directory integrated zone so that's why you see over here the record that we have created just now the zone that we have created just now is a testing.com Two records are it is okay same like your vitech.com okay but if i go over here this is with active directory integration so this also has to be created that means another one zone has to be created that means underscore msdcs primary zone so to all okay so let's give a zone name same now testing.com but the first person, as I told you, this is a msdcs.viatech.com. So this has to be the same. So underscore msdcs.testing.com. Okay, this zone has to be created now. So allow secure, unsecure both. See, as I told you, now since we are in a lab environment, it's done. This is the first task. First task is done. Okay, if you see over here, testing.com, two records are there because this is just now it's created. And if you go to the active rate integrated zone, this purpose, you'll find two records as it is. So first step, work is done. Now, rest of the work, you'll have to go through the command. Okay, and that command means, I do believe that everybody knows now, we are going to use the PowerShell for doing this work. Now, since I'm logging as a system administrator over here, guys, I don't have to specify that to log in in order to perform these tasks as an administrator. But you have, if you have not logged in as an administrator or if you are trying to log in via some other user, sometimes it happens that we give a privilege to some of the clients to log in using the other user account. In that case, this command will not function. Okay. Now let's go to the root of our drive. Okay. So let's go to the root. And I'm going to clear the screen. 
It's my habit that whenever I work for the power cell or any CUI interface, I would like to see the screen clean. That's why. Now, the first thing that we need to do over here is to see, create, or, you know, make a list of your XML file that gives the information related to your domain. So I'm going to do, hit this command, random, okay? And then, let's see, list. Now, in the root of the C drive, one file having XML that gives the detailed information of your domain is already being created. So let's go to the root of the C, you'll find the file, okay? There might be so many other files related to that because I was, you know, having the classes to some of the other students who are system heads. So I'm going to delete if we have, see, we have so many. So let's see the time as for that. This is our current one, okay? So we are going to edit it because you know your domain controller name was, is right now is a viatech.com. Okay, see, now over here, domain DNS zone, viatech.com, forest DNS zone, viatech.com, okay, and your net bias name is also your viatech. So all of this has to be changed, okay, it has to be renamed. So I'm going to go to edit and replace, okay. Now, find what first, that's a viatech.com. This has to be replaced, with whom, next one, okay. This one is... Uh, name of your new DNS which you have created just now. Let's see over here testing. That is a testing, not new. Okay, so that's a testing.com. Once more time, so let's make it sure, otherwise, we are gonna have problem over here. So now that's a testing.com. Okay, this is our new zone. Now let's go over here. Sorry. Let's go to your Now, C drive where the file was located. This file has to be edited. Okay. So now here we are going to change the name. Okay. So replace it with first one is here viatech.com. And second one is that is to be replaced with the new geo zone name is testing.com. Okay. Now replace all. Let's do it. See, it's changed now. Testing.com, testing.com. Okay, but as I told you, the net bias name is to be changed ourselves manually. This will not be changed. So here I'm going to write testing. I do believe that you understand the first part of your domain name is a net bias name over here in our case. So testing, it is done. Okay, now close it and I'm going to save it. Done. So we are going to exit it now, this one. Okay, so let's see again our DNS, that zone that we have created is a testing.com. So the first work in this CUI is done. Now, after that, what we need to do over here, okay, is to show the forest over here, whether this work is done or not. Now for that, random, okay, then hit this command, so forest, so it should show that information is changed. See, testing.com, it is done successfully forest wise, okay? See, forest zone, testing.com, Domain DNS zone testing.com. It is done successfully. Now the next one, the next command that you need to hit over here is you need to upload it. Okay. So for that, I'm going to save your time by hitting upper arrow, random, and then upload. So it is uploaded successfully. Now after uploading that file, it has to be prepared first now. Okay. So let's go to random. So this command is in sequence actually, so it's better you memorize because see, we need this sometime, okay? Now it is getting ready. It's applying, waiting for this is to reply. So it's done. New.viatech.com was prepared successfully. Now over here, if you remember the name that we use over here, okay? That was viatech.com. That is your old domain. Okay, now the new, this one is the name of your PC. So don't get panic, it's the name of your PC. That means fully qualified domain name, it is. Now we need to execute it. Until and unless you execute, this process will not happen. So now, netdom, random, I mean to say, random and execute. So after executing this command, in a PowerShell, your system should get restart. It's getting your DC ready, now it's going to restart. It's completed, okay? It has to be restarted now. It will do automatically. See, the error is zero. Now, it's restarting, okay? Now, since the system is re restarting, so obviously it's gonna take few minutes over here. It might be few seconds. So I'm gonna pause this video and we'll meet after this system has been restarted.
okay now after a few seconds or it took around one or two minutes the system has been restarted okay uh, after we change the domain name over here but after we restart this computer after changing the name of your domain you if you log in by default it will go to your previous domain actually now in order to log in with the new domain name you'll have to go to the other user not your the default name after i click the other user if you have noticed over here that you can see the testing is listed over here now we are going to log in with the administrator and the name or uh, the password the same that we had used last time in order to log in in your domain controller now there are few more steps there are a few more things that we need to do it number one after you promote or after you not promote i'm say after you change the domain controller's name over here in a server after changing the domain this controller name you might have seen that we intend to change the name of the computer sometime after computer is promoted operating system is promoted as a domain controller you might have noticed that it will not allow you okay the name of the computer it will not allow you to change it easily number two the fully qualified domain name also it's not going to allow now as we have already changed our domain name in a place of the fully qualified domain name if you remember it's going to list it the same computer name that means your previous viatech.com is going to get listed now in order to solve that problem now we'll have to change the name of this fully qualified domain name and again it has to get restarted okay now as i told you that there will be so many restarts in between this phase so that's why many of the system administrator do not want to change of the domain controller but sometime you know it comes under certain circumstances that you need to do this work okay so now let's go to the local server and now I'm going to show you how to change it okay now let's go it's a name of your domain so let it list out our domain name over here see testing.com now if I take it over here see testing.com is here but if I go to that one change one of course it's going to tell you it will not allow you to change the name okay if I go to move further did you see that viatech.com is listed over here still so I need to change it as a your testing.com now again it's going to ask you to restart and you know that without restarting it will not allow you to do the rest of the work okay so again i'm going to pause it now we'll meet after it gets restarted okay now after restarting the system again you'll have to log in with the, your new domain that's a testing.com so i'm going to provide the credential in order to log in over here and continue rest of the commands as i told you now we'll have to fix up with the group policy we'll have to fi fix up with your uh, your older net bias name otherwise your neither group policy nor your net bias, bias name is going to function over here okay so now after that we are going to go to the power cell again in order to wind up with the rest of the commands so since it's loading initial configuration test so it's going to take few more seconds more but uh, if you can go to start and go to the your power cell it's going to work it faster okay so we don't have to wait because we are not going to deal something with the group policy management over here or neither we are going to add or remove any of the roles or feature so that's why if you go to the power cell so it shouldn't show any kind of error so let it load now fully because see in the background still ICT is running so that's why it's taking time normally after loading this initial configuration test it's not going to take longer time to display your power cell power cell console over here so let it load it's taking few more seconds so no worries for that okay now of course we are going to use the same one and I'm, I, I don't want to go to the new this power cell feature over here since we are in a lab environment so i'm going to use the same one so don't worry we are not going to update otherwise it's going to take the time for us okay and i don't want your time to be get wasted over here so let's go to the root again okay and then we are going to fix up with the group policy otherwise it's not going to allow you okay now gp fix up fix gp, GP fix up and then old dns old dns your old dns was viatech if you remember okay old dns was viatech and new dns that we created just now is testing.com so over here i need to write viatech.com and your new domain name is a testing.com in our case now apart from this you also need to make sure that see it's saying start fixing non-site group policy links so gp fix up tool executed with success that means there is no error but we also need to make sure that your net bias name also so for that i'm going to hit one more command 
GP Fixa. Your old net bias name was a Viatek. Okay. Now your new bias name. Okay. New bias name. Net bias name is your my uh, in our case testing. So over here for pro providing the information to uh, update the, this one with fi fixing command over here, you don't have to write the full name of it. Of course, the net bias name is only the first portion of your domain name. So it's saying that group policy fix of utility version is this. Start fixing group policy objects. Now GP fix up tool executed with success. That means there was no error. Now, still the work is not done yet. We have to clean it and we'll have to unfreeze it. So for that, we are going to use random and then clean. Now, what this command does, it's going to remove your reference of old domain. So after that, one more command is left, random slash end. So what it does now, this command is going to unfreeze your forest configuration. So this is mandatory. That means after hitting this command, it proves that your entire process has done successfully. Now you don't have to do anything over here. Okay, if I go to tools, go to Active Directory Users and Computers, it shouldn't show any error. It should show testing.com and your object name, the computers, if anyone is joined over here, entire thing should be listed over here. Of course, we are using the domain, there is no client join. So far, you see now, it's done. We are using testing.com. So now I do believe that it was fruitful, it was easy going step and we did not miss any, anything. So this was the complete step for you guys to show that how the domain name can be changed. Of course, it's not an easy step, but as a system administrator, each one of you must know this skill. So I do believe it was easy going, it was fruitful to you. If you like it, please press like button and do subscribe. Thank you.